Hey guys, I'm Alio. I'm Shneek, and this is Shaji. So, we decided to quit our jobs in London to travel the world full time. And live a freedom lifestyle. We wanted to share our journey with you, so welcome to the family. Hey family, how are you doing? Hope you're well. So today we are going to talk with you about accommodation scams that you need to avoid when searching for a place to live in Accra, Ghana. And I say Accra, but I think these are general tips that you can apply to wherever it is that you're searching for long-term accommodation. But we're gonna speak directly to our experience here in Accra and what we've heard can be quite common that other people we know have experienced as well. Silly Mummy actually lost of her first part to this video. So you're going to hear my voice and I'm going to insert some clips here um, of some of the accommodation that we viewed while we were having a look for somewhere to live on a long term basis. And then I'm going to bring AJ into the conversation a little bit later. So... The first scam that you need to avoid is fake pricing. And I'm not gonna lie, this first one hurt my soul. <sighs> so, a friend of my mum's got in touch with us. She lives between the UK and Ghana. And she told us that she had some accommodation, but it was in another town quite far away from where we wanted to be go and potentially live so we weren't necessarily interested in what she was offering but she said that she had a friend who had a place in East Lagon which is a very very popular area in Accra so um, she gave me her number and said just get in touch and she told me that she was offering her place for the same price that my mum's friend was uh, which was two and a half thousand Ghana cities which equates to around about 250 300 pounds I think um, at the current conversion rate so we were like okay yeah it's kind of within our price so I contacted her asked for kind of a few more details and she told us it was a three bedroom yes it was in East Lagon um, and she also mentioned the fact that it was unfurnished and we didn't want an unfurnished place because we weren't sure how long we were going to be staying in a craft for um, so we brushed it off at first but then one of our friends was like just go take a look like you never know you might end up really liking it so we did so we turned up we arranged to meet we found the place we met her she was really lovely she showed us around and oh my gosh guys i mean you can see have a look at this place we we fell in love we loved it it's huge huge place amazing it was really well um really well designed the layout was awesome um the sizing was great we loved it and we were like wow for the price and i remember that first conversation i just confirmed with her how much the price was it's two and a half thousand cities and i remember specifically asking her is there anyone else involved like is there an agent and she was like no it's only me i want us to be family so you'll be dealing directly with me and we were like wow sounds good um, then our friend was potentially interested in meeting up, meeting um, and living with us. So we got her to come and look as well. And we all loved it. We all talked about how the arrangement could work. We were ready to go. We were so ready to go with it. Even though it was unfurnished, we were like, for the price, it's cool. We'll make it work. And then we started negotiating the details. So she wanted a year up front, trying to negotiate six months. She weren't having it. And we started asking about repairs and, you know, who would be responsible for such things. And she wasn't really interested. This woman just sounded like she just wanted her money, basically, and to go about her business. So we were going back and forth. And I don't know, maybe we asked too many questions. Maybe we asked too many questions because we were about to sign. She was talking about getting the contracts ready. And the day before, AJ just said, you know, just get in contact with her again and just... Um, confirm all of the details so i wrote out everything the first thing she said she was like oh um i have to talk to my agent agent you just 
there was no agent what do you mean exactly you said you didn't have an agent that was like one of the first questions i asked you that's at the gate as well i know that i don't remember, I remember. and she was like i've always had an agent i've been you know conversing with him this whole time we were like where did this agent mysteriously suddenly pop up from there was no you you said there was no agent before exactly so there was that and then she came back and she was like the price is two and a half thousand dollars per month and we were like Come what? <laughs> two and a half thousand Ghana cities <laughs> What do you mean dollars? She said no. It's always been dollars. It's always been dollars. I'm like, again, no. We confirmed that when we first met. First thing I asked was the price, and you told me that was the price. And she was adamant, adamant. It, it turned in this whole big thing because um, I went back to my mom's friend, and I'm like, this is the price you told me, right? This is. And she was like yeah i'm like nah this woman is saying two and a half thousand dollars she's like no that doesn't sound right that doesn't sound right let me contact her came back and was like um she's saying two and a half thousand dollars so our theory is one of two theories um our theory is that one it was two and a half thousand cities initially because we started going back and forth on asking, the repairs yes, and exactly. asking for things to be clarified, maybe she got a little bit scared and decided to involve, and because we're talking about contracts and stuff, um, maybe she got a little bit scared and she thought it was just going to be a cash in hand, you know, kind of very casual agreement and we wanted something a bit more formal. Maybe she decided to enlist the services of an agent while all this was going on without telling us and the agent said two and a half thousand cities are you crazy you see this house and the area that it's in it's in east lagon which is a you know one of the most wealthy neighborhoods in accra are you crazy giving it away for this price um and so the agent managed to change her mind that, that's one of our theories that because is what happened that's what you think happened the other that thing um, which other people have said um, is possible is she just gave us a fake price she told us two and a half thousand cities to come and get us to look and then she knows she has a beautiful place she gets you to fall in love with the place and then reveals the real price to yeah. you afterwards yeah the first happened because she's the type of person that she wants to be completely hands-off so I don't see her investing that amount of time to rope in people and then change the price. Nah, 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 nah. Because I found the listing online. We did find it. You then found it on, um, what, what says it? On um, Makasa. And there was a big ass promotional banner on there with uh, a, a letting agent uh, There was an number. agent on there. And there, it wasn't on there it before. It was before. listed. The same day that we started going back and forth about the pricing, that was the day that it was listed on that website. You are right, I forgot about that. I know what happened. So yeah, um, and it seems like an agent got involved, um, an agent got involved and messed it all up for us. So we kind of miss out on that one. Well, it wasn't for us in the first place. It obviously wasn't supposed, but I was hurt. I was oh, oh, so I was upset. I sent her a message. <laughs> we were upset. I sent her a message. That, well, she's a Christian. <laughs> I know the Bible too. Oh, I might not gosh. be a Christian, but I know the Bible. Tony, totally. that was experience number one. You're gonna Fake be... listings. So, advice. Bring a book with you and also have your mobile phone. Whenever they say something, write it down there yeah. and then send it to them and ask them to confirm, confirm it so yeah. that you can have a confirmation yeah. trail yeah absolutely. you have to have a confirmation trail or if you have only a book get them to sign their name at the bottom so that they can confirm that everything that was written is as it is and what they say yeah. it is have to do that you have to do that you do Bring. need to make sure you confirm you have details. to confirm in things writing. in yeah. writing or have a whatsapp google whatever trail and even then to be honest even things, then, just be open-minded and understand oh, that things, things can, can always to... change always, always change always, right always. up until the last always. point okay number two uh, this is uh, fake listings 
So, <laughs> one of the other places Swimming that we pool. saw... I need to play Kendrick Lamar's song on this one. <laughs> no, you can't. It's copyright. I um, really know. I'm just saying. Songs. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'll just play Kendrick Lamar. When you hear this. One of the other places we found this place online. I can't remember how much it was listed at. But anyway, online the pictures looked decent enough. It said it was on Spintex Road. Now, if you know Accra, uh, Spintex Road is this huge long road that stretches from the very center of Accra and almost goes out right to the outskirts of Accra. So, which end you are? Yeah, yeah where in Spintex Road where is I'm important because you could be right where everything is happening or you could be out in the sticks pretty much. Literally bush. So, we wanted to be closer to center, right? Um, where in Spintex Road? Um, the, the person, we contacted the agent, because it was, we found this online, um, on, on Mikasa. Agent. Contacted the agent, and it, this person didn't know exactly where, red flag, this person didn't know exactly where it was. So he said he needed, he said he was listing it for a friend, another agent friend of his. So he needed to contact that person to get um, the, the specific location. So um, we, we were just in this process of trying to find somewhere. So we were like, cool, let us know, we're ready. We're, we're not doing a whole lot so we can go and see it. And um, came back, he just said it's near the KFC, if I remember right. Yes. It's just near a KFC. There's a yes. number of KFCs, obviously, in Accra. Um, but, but we were like, okay, let's just go. So we're not doing much. We're out on the road. We were looking at other places anyway. So we had time. We were like, let's just go. So we asked where we could meet we had an agreed place I but think first was... we said just send us the address we were going back oh, and forth we wanted to, yeah. because we wanted to just take a taxi and just yeah, get we'll there yeah we'll go we'll meet you oh, there oh no please we don't we don't have, i don't have the address this is another thing to be aware of in ghana agents will never ever tell you the exact location they are afraid of of the property because they're afraid that you will then negotiate directly with the landlord and they'll miss out on their commission so it's what what will often happen is they will ask to meet you at a central location and then you go with together them. Mm -hmm. with them they drive or you drive or you get a cab or whatever to the property so they can make sure they're still within the mix of everything mm -hmm. so yeah, we went back and forth trying to get the location, weren't going to happen. We agreed a place. They came and picked us up, because we don't drive. And they came and picked us up. And it was the, the guy I had been contacting, I think. And then in the front was a woman. And Which I've been in contact with. Oh, yeah, that, that was another weird thing. So we get in, it's us, Tashi, we get in. Energy was so okay. obviously the whole of the back is taken up, right? Um, and then he's, uh, what did he, he say? He's like, oh, we need to pick up the other agent. Mm -hmm. So there's two agents, so two agents are sitting in the front at the moment. He's like, we need to go and pick up the other agent. And we're like, AJ was like, oh, where's no, this no, other no. agent so, going? So, no, no, no. He huh? drove, he drove, he drove. Oh, so we, we were already we on our drove, way. And then he stopped at a petrol station and like, okay. oh, we need, to, we need to get the other person. I'm like, get who? <laughs> the other person was going to show us the direction, show us so because we don't agent. know exactly where it is. They didn't know where they were going. So you're an agent for an agent <laughs> for another agent. <laughs> and then the drive, the guy, the guy was like, yeah, you just need to come in. I'm like, go where? Do you see I have my empress and my princess here? Where is he going? Oh, oh, you just need to squeeze up a little so okay. I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not gonna work. He's not coming. He's gonna have to find a way there. He's not coming in here though. He tried to get in the front where the woman was sitting, like this, like this. Tried to close the door. Door went closing. The driver leant over to try to close the door as if he had more leverage. Oh, oh, I, I, it is not going to work. <laughs> the driver turned to me, oh, he, he, he's going to have to get a taxi. You're going to have to pay for it. I'm like, pay for what? Three agents at this point. Pay at for this what? point? Oh, this point. We're not done. Not done. <laughs> right. I said, pay so for anyway, what? Mm, Charlie. This guy is getting a cab. I told him to get a cab. He gets in a cab. We, we drive for about five minutes. Stop again. 
another woman gets into that other taxi where was she where was she going to go where was she gonna go if she got in the original car <laughs> four four agents at this point. <laughs> we drive to the place anyway we drive to the place pull up huge again huge comp listen Ghanaian houses are massive like no joke they're huge there's some dirt road beside a school and I'm like it's, it's not going to school. work because it's going to be noisy yeah 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 and it so we were put off anything. immediately because it was right next to, to the anything. school it was so yeah we, it's, they said off spin text one it wasn't even on spin text no, road it was on off shoot it was way off Spintex Road and the side of Spintex was like I said more towards Tema which is a whole other town. Um, oh it's only gonna take us you know 45 minutes yeah, to get the, there. It took how long? It took about an hour to it get there yeah. to go. Yeah one way yeah he said it was like 30 minutes or something no it was an hour. Um, so we get there. Got there. And I swear there was more people. Yes. There was like another two or yes. three more people. There's like two more what people on earth who is arrived. going on? There's a whole bunch of people here to show us around this place. Anyway, so we walk in. <laughs> I remember walking through the door and I looked to the left. The first thing I saw, actually, I looked in. We're going through the kitchen. I saw onions and I saw food I saw in clothes. the kitchen. And I'm like, there's Shoes. food here. The first thing I'm like, there's food here. There's food. Why is there food here? Anyway, I look to my left and there's this grandma sitting in the, in the living room grandma watching was like TV. <laughs> I'm like, wait. Uh, this is me, I walk through, this is me. You know when your eyes can't stay still like, ha, ha, hi. <laughs> Just like, um, hi. Um, so I turn to one one of the many agents. I'm like, there's people living here. There is a grandma <laughs> sitting down over there. Okay. Are you seeing this? And you asked the question. I asked, listen, I said, so are people living here? And then like, no, it's fine. So when you pay, they'll be gone. They'll be given, within two weeks, they'll be gone. I'm <laughs> like, at that point I was done. On a serious note, I would have walked out at that point. I was ready. But someone wanted to entertain them for some strange reason. I so, wanted to see the house. And trust me, <laughs> we saw some things in that house. I, I can't. It was just, it was just filled, it was filled with people and stuff. There was just shoes everywhere. There were 30 or 40 pairs of shoes. I've never seen it so was many awful. shoes. It was horrible. In a house you're gonna show somebody. It was horrible. Like Oh, we went upstairs and this one nearly tripped on her face. Why are you bringing that up for? <laughs> it has nothing to do with absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> and then I looked through one room. I saw phones being charged. I saw other people clothes. I could smell people. And it then, was... and then there was a room. They said, "Oh, so we, we cannot go into that room. There's somebody <laughs> that." <laughs> it was a fake listing, guy. It didn't exist. It wasn't available, right? And then when we were coming out, because I was ready. Like this guy is really just like asking questions, walking around. I'm like, why? I'm I'm ready to go. Oh, Let's oh, go. the driver said, if you don't like this house. Um, what is it? Before we get in. Yeah. Yeah, if we don't like this, something's you don't wrong like, with you. Yeah, something's something, wrong with you. I'm if like, you don't is like that this. right? You're going to love it. You're it going to love it. It's a mansion. Oh my. It was terrible. It oh, was, there's a swimming pool. Oh, there's a no, pool. It wasn't a swimming no, pool. It was just no. some random there's a pond underground water. Under, underneath the house. It wasn't even a pond. There was no like fish or life no, or anything. No. It was the just. People used swimming pool tiles to tile. It, had, it this. said, it said athlete on it but it wasn't like a swimming pool it was just water That's but not large enough no, for a, a for pool any, no one swimming. people couldn't go in it you could see it from Random. upstairs because they put glass at the top so you could just look down and see it i was like what kind of it was a rigory is this listing so we went out of there and i heard one of the agents to say to one of the other ones i didn't know i didn't know they were here like <laughs> oh, you did? I, I told you, no? No. I thought I told you that, yeah. 
She said, I didn't know that. I didn't know. Sorry, I didn't know. I didn't know they were here. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we were supposed to see two houses from those agents, by the way. After they saw her face and how we reacted. <laughs> no. Nope. They just drove us back. They just drove us all the way back. Oh, and when they drove the, the other the other two agents that jumped in the taxi, they ha had to get back to certain to, to the gas station I was talking about. And so they stopped. And they tried to come and ask me for money <laughs> to pay the taxi driver. I said, for what? <laughs> for what? I am not paying nobody's taxi fare. And so, oh, but please, we picked you up. I said you should have told us the address. I've been trying to get the address from you. Oh, but please, they, they, they had to come and show us place because it's not our place. I'm like, so? I said to him, I don't mind if I give you something. Mm. I am not giving them nothing. So, oh, oh, please, how much are you going to give me? I'm like, I don't mind giving you a hundred cities. Oh, please, a hundred, I'm like, a hundred cities. Oh, 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 here, you can take the hundred cities, I give you half now. You can give him a piece of your share, if you want to give him a piece of your share. That's fine with me, I don't care about that. But I'm not giving them no money. Anyway, long story short, they drop us back at our house. Uh, not even, they, they were quick to drive the yeah, car off. And so like, there was a quiet ride back. Listen, you could hear crickets. <laughs> So yeah, that was that one. And then the final thing we wanted you to be aware of is, um, and it is technically a scam, um, but it's, it is, this one is very common and expected, to be honest, everywhere in, in Ghana. And it's the fact that you have to pay one year rent up front listen and sometimes especially if there's an agent involved you may also have to pay a one month deposit uh, which may or may oh, not 10 percent as well as 10 percent of the total year rent as goes commission, to the agent for the commission. commission so you, your whole one year's rent up front plus um, a one year's deposit sometimes plus 10 percent or one month rent um as commission for the agent so officially legally in ghana landlords are only allowed to charge up to six months rent up front however come on even however. the government officials they are the ones doing it they are the ones charging a year to two years because we we met somebody who was in the government who were listening yeah she was she trying to she, in. she's not budging from less than a year and she refused and and she works for electricity and water exactly um she's like one of the exec pas yes and she was still expecting a whole year's up front and we actually got told we were lucky that people were only asking us year. for one year's it up is front. extremely common common for two years two years and more. is standard at least yes if not three and years and it's like how how do people even afford that like and and when you think about say for example the place that we originally mentioned that said it was two and a half thousand dollars per month so you're then saying uh what's that twenty twenty seven twenty eight thousand dollars who has that type of for money one year oh, as as run. for rent you're not for even rent. talking about furnishing the place no exactly that's just for rent so and that's just one year so you're saying basically 50 sometimes sixty thousand dollars up front to pay for one year's rent i can hear some of you be like what this is crazy it's ridiculous um and even though legally it is only supposed to be six months no it's, not it's not enforced people say to you if a landlord says that you should report them no one's doing that and even when you do bring it they up just to them pay off the police anyway if you report them well i wasn't well i, don't, I can't say that that sure. will happen well, we don't know we don't know that but um i was going to say that they don't care even if you say it should only be six months they don't care because one watching. month is what's expected one month is what the majority of people will just pay so <laughs> that's what it is um, so yeah, that is definitely something to be aware of and it is one of the reasons why we decided yeah. not to pursue our, or not to continue our time here for now because mm -hmm. renting just doesn't seem worth it. I think if for you're going to... Sorry, for the amount you pay for the rent alone yeah. and then the accumulate that with the furnishing the place, 
just build you might as well just build even potentially buy a place the place where we're staying at the moment we're we're paying thankfully we're able to pay month to month yeah. that's why we're here um but it's expensive it's ridiculously expensive but we can pay month to month and that makes it easier um but the landlord for here he does have some properties that he has for sale and they <clears> start <throat> at like thirty thousand. correction i saw the leaflet lately it's fifty thousand it pounds gone now. Up? Oh wow! He's trying to make money. Okay, it's gone up, but still fifty thousand pounds. It's still yeah. cheap. You know, you they might as well purchase. Yeah. But I think purchasing is even still expensive. I yeah. would say build. build for like sixty thousand dollars. You yeah. might as well build your own you get place. Get more land as well. So renting is no. It's a not easy game. here. It's, it's a fool's game. So yeah, those are just a few of our experiences that we wanted to share to help you avoid going through the same thing. Yeah. Um, so I hope that was helpful. At least you know the things to avoid yeah. at the very least. The main thing I would say is just stay flexible, stay open-minded and don't get too upset with certain things. Just laugh it off. Just laugh it off. And meditate. <laughs> If you want us to make some other videos about some other stuff, let us know. We're going to make a uh, cost of living in terms of like food, what it's like here. So that's coming soon. All right.